So Decal Machine is a way to just add in that little bit of extra effects very cheaply. Now, pretty much quickly, there are some massive libraries you can get access to, but Decal Machine adds decals that just give it an extra bit of uh, pizzazzle is the word, I don't know. And we can kind of just add in a whole bunch and then we can go ahead and you know, if you create your own, like I have, you can kind of start adding in like that as well. Shift D, I love this feature is the bee's knees. So if we go scale and let's just line it up like that. I can go shift left click D slice and that'll kind of add that in. Why that's there, what else? We can change that by going D adjust, control scroll and let's find a nice looking decal. There we go. Oops. Slightly annoying that that's going through, um, but real simple, adjust and just pull it out a little bit. There we go. And done. So you can see how we've quickly added in panels without doing much. Now I'm not going to go through the process of creating 3D decals. I'm just going to more focus on the 2D decals. And these are some that I've been working on. Um, from here, all you got to do is we'll click on create new up the very top. It's going to be a decal. It's going to be an info decal and we're going to go off the geometry. Uh, let's just go create info decal. Down here, I'll go hex underscore field, give it a name and go add to decal library. And now when I press D, that's added it to our library. Um, we can also do images. So if I do Alt H, bring in an image like this, it is geometry. So I did a file import images plane. And I can also create this as a decal, select that, create info decal. I will call this poster ship build. Let's go add to decal library. And then coming back to this ship, mm, we could probably put it maybe along here. So if I press D, come into here, we've got this decal. I can scale that up, rotate Z 180. Ooh. And then we're gonna mirror that, that looks nice. So like that, lovely. I don't want a blue, so I can go into shading and let's find all this. We've got our masks, which is awesome. We've also got our color. So if we were to go into rendered view, we can probably do a mix color, throw that in there. Let's go add. And I maybe kind of wanted a bit of a blue color. So let's do a mix on the color. However, it looks a little bit too pristine. So we keep, we've got the alpha node down here. So maybe if we add in a noise texture, let's do a color ramp. And then put that color into the alpha. Let's draw these in. We can see that they're a bit smudgy, which is exactly what we want. I just want a little bit of smudge. Uh, we could probably scale it up. And uh, I don't have to do much actually. That's, uh, that's looking pretty good. Just like that. Let's give it a, make it a little bit wider. And there we have it. Might as well select these two here. Select that one, control V, put that alpha into there. Yes. And kind of with that as well, massive library, as I mentioned before. So for instance, we can go access electricity. Sure. Let's go G hold Katarl done that's how we access our electricity maybe here d we'll throw in these little arrows and i noticed star citizen do these little arrows quite a bit i'm just going to scale that in shift d hold control i mean even though you don't really see them it does break up the mesh and uh, just looks good